Welcome to another edition of Hemp Barons. I'm Dan Humiston, and on today's show, we are going to log a lot of miles. We are starting in Australia and learning about the hemp opportunities down under. And then we're heading all the way back to Central America, and we're going to finish in the Caribbean. Let's join my conversation with today's hemp tour guide, Ramon Granados, live from Perth, Australia. Hey, Ramon, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Well, you're the CEO of um, Hemp Engineer, which is based in Perth, Australia. So to start off, you have the distinction of being our furthest away guest. So congratulations on that. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> it's also very early where you are and I appreciate you getting up early and, and having this talk with us. It's late. <laughs> it's later here, but a lot of exciting stuff to talk to you about today. So, I mean, I, we should just jump right into it because Hemp is huge news in the United States, but I don't think a lot of people, including myself, know what's going on in the rest of the world. And, you know, we're lucky today to have you on the show because you're A, in Australia, so you have a good insight what's going on there, but you also have a pretty good insight in what's going on in Latin America and in the Caribbean. I thought maybe we'd start off and you can give us an update on all of the different countries and some of the things that you're doing. Why don't we start with Australia? Yeah, Australia is uh, perhaps one of the most interesting regions on Earth, where I believe um, will become a huge hub for the hemp industry. We are basically in the middle of Asia and America, easy to transport the goods that we can potentially uh, manufacture in this part of the world. Water and land is not a problem, um, and also the climate. This is a very sunshine country. And nonetheless, uh, like in the rest of the world, we are just uh, basically growing 5,000 acres in the whole country for various purposes. It is illegal to grow CBD in Australia. That's why the, most of the companies have focused in textile and hemp trees and other products. Australians have become an expert in all kinds of products except CBD. Huh. Yes, yes. So there are inventions of all kinds, machinery, people working around the clock, producing different products and equipments. There is a good support from the government. I foresee that this country is going to explode very soon in technology and good products. I agree. Like you said, geographically, it makes a lot of sense. And, you know, it's not a bad thing that you haven't got sucked into the CBD wave because eventually that's going to run its course. And then the other really good opportunities with the plant, you're going to have to take advantage of those. And people in Australia will have an advantage because they, you know, really focused on it. Only 5,000 acres isn't real a lot of production right now. So there's tons of potential there. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. There will be an explosion on this, primarily because in Perth, where I live, we wake up at the same time as the 60% of the overall population. China, Japan, North Korea, uh, South Korea, yeah. uh, Thailand. So there is a huge market there to be conquered. No question about that. <laughs> wow, you're right. Well, let's jump to the other side of the world. You had a, a recently were honored with being appointed the CEO of Hemp Today in Espanol. And you're going to have a big summit, the Latin America Caribbean Hemp Summit coming up in November. Before we jump to that, let's, we'll talk about that at the end of our talk. But let's take a few minutes just to talk about what's going on in Latin America, what's going on in the Caribbean with hemp. There is something that is significant in, in, this, uh, in our Latino culture for one reason or another. Uruguay was the first country that declared legalized cannabis, including uh, medicinal, recreational, and cañamo. That's the way we call it, cañamo, <laughs> uh, which is hemp. <laughs> yes. Okay. And nonetheless, uh, like in the rest of the world, the technology the products that, we, that, that are being developed are in a very early stage. There is not enough production. Governments are still with the dilemma of, of the stigma or how we're going to move forward. But, um, Ecuador is one of those countries that uh, they have not even discussed this as a possibility. Mexico has just declared marijuana as a human right, and yet uh, hemp is a long way to go. Colombia is doing an excellent work opening the doors for investors and helping the areas that were in a conflict for the narco war, and they're promoting hemp in this moment as an alternative to create a new economy. Uruguay, Chile, the same is, is going in the same direction. So 
yeah, there is something happening. Uruguay is taking the lead, absolutely. That there is a long way to go, but we're trying to do the best we can. Yeah, and what about the Caribbean? The British influence islands are more open to the business than the rest of the countries in the area. Remember that Caribbean is like uh, four different cultures in one region. Mm -hmm. And yes, the Spanish speaking countries are very reluctant, but the English countries are more open. That all kind of ties into this Latin America Caribbean Hemp Summit. November 8th and 9th. Where is that going to be held? Yeah, that's going to be in the Hyatt in Montevideo. We are expecting to have summit up to 100 people. And we are selecting the best speakers that we can have at hand. The idea is to cover the different areas of potential investments that we have from the end to the war. So this sounds like it's going to be a pretty interesting show. It's in Uruguay. And it's going to be in November 8th and 9th. Between now and then, geez, how much can happen the way this industry is going? Be the next that's six months away, we could, we could have so, many, yes, so yes. many new opportunities by that time. I have all of your information on the MJ Bulls website. So if anybody wants to follow up and find out information about it. Well, we've, yes. been, well, we've been speaking with Ramon Granados from Hemp Engineers in Australia. And like I said, I have all of Ramon's contact information on our website. Ramon, thanks for getting up early to talk to us and be on the show today. No, it's a great pleasure. And, 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 and thank you for yes, uh, having considering myself um, on behalf of my team. Thank you. And we're here to help. And it's rock and roll. Yes, rock and roll is right. Hopefully, <laughs> maybe I'll see you in Uruguay in November. That would be fun. Yeah, that could be awesome. Thank That'd you very much. Thank you very much. Have Thank a great you. day today. 